there is a chance that the next few days will see a huge change in the financial world with the US Federal Reserve possibly taking control of XRP and the Ripple in its system. This move could mean that no one can buy XRP in stores and that Ripple Labs technology is used to replace the current banking system. Ripple's latest actions, especially their huge buyback of XRP, show how quickly things are changing. It was just yesterday that a story said Ripple Labs has started to buy back almost 1 billion XRP from the market. What Ripple is doing here is very important and shows that they are committed to making XRP stronger. In the next part of our movie, I'll talk about the price that people think the US Federal Reserve might be willing to buy back XRP. There is proof that this information is correct, which backs up these claims. Stay tuned as we go into more detail about this new development that could have a huge impact on cryptocurrency and global banking. Hello, coins alert! You can trust for all things XRP related. Before we dive, please hit the like button, subscribe and notifications to become a part of our group. Also, once we reach 60,000 followers, we'll be giving away a huge amount of XRP. There are only three easy steps you need to take to put in your bid. Make sure you do all of those things. Leave a comment with the hashtag money site to make sure you get a spot. There are a lot of important changes happening in the financial world right now because the US Federal Reserve wants to possibly buy XRP and work closely with Ripple Labs. This story has gotten a lot of attention, especially since Ripple is working harder to buy back XRP, which is making it harder to find on coin exchanges. Many people see the move as a clear sign of a big change in the market. Some experts, like those from Blood or Crips, say this could be a strong sign for XRP's value to go through the roof. It's been about 24 hours since Ripple Labs announced their plan to buy back almost 1 billion XRP from the circulation supply. This has led to more rumors that the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs might work together. This news may not be a surprise to people who have been closely watching what's been going on though. The Federal Reserve has shown interest in this topic in the past and there are even articles including one from Google that talk about the Federal Reserve's plan to use Ripple's XRP as a global payment option. Air Ripple buyback scheme is also part of this plan. Ripple wants to buy back XRP as part of their bigger plan. The goal seems to be to move XRP from individual users to banks and institutional investors, making it more useful and valuable to big players in the financial world. These moves by Ripple and the possibility that the Federal Reserve will get involved are changing the way things look for XRP. The connection between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs has also been getting more attention, which points to a big agreement. Because these two groups are closely connected, it's possible that XRP will become even more a part of the mainstream banking system in the future. A headline on a story that said Federal Reserve works with Ripple XRP for integration suggests that XRP could go as high as $10,000. This news was a turning point. It sent me down a rabbit hole of study where I found the buyback theory, an interesting idea. This idea, which is one of the most interesting in the world of crypto right now, fits perfectly with what is happening right now. It has to do with a suggestion from the managing director of Valhill Capital, asking the Federal Reserve to think about buying back XRP at an unbelievable $35,000 per coin. What Valhill's buyback idea really means is even more crazy. It says that governments should set a price and buy back all of the XRP that individual buyers have bought. As Van of Valhill Capital put it, this price is an unbelievable $37,500 per coin. This extremely high value is found by dividing the total amount of money in the world by the total amount of XRP assets available. The price of XRP is 60 cents at this time. That being said, this idea says that XRP is worth more than just $35,000. We now think it will reach around $50,000. This is a big jump that shows how XRP's promise in the financial world is becoming more and more clear. Now let's switch topics and talk about BNB, our video sponsor today, DotWin. This platform gives you a great chance to stake your coins and make a lot of money. Take a look at this, they offer a huge 333% APR. Those numbers are really impressive. Products from Binance, simple and easy regulations, and the creative founder of Docs are among the things they sell. Also, BNB.Win is in sync with the environment and follows the rules, which makes sure that the experience is safe. At 333% per year, the returns are truly amazing. And here's a deal that only my fans can get. When you sign up, use my special code EXTRA315 and that rate will go up to 353% from 333%. Make sure you don't miss this chance. The link and code are in the description of the movie. Besides the set rate, there is also a chance to win extra prizes. It's easy to sign up. 
On this site, just click on sign in, enter your email address and password. You can start to stake as soon as you're in. Your payments are easy to understand. Just send the BNB to the address given. Since everything is done automatically, you'll see the changes right away. A clip that goes into more detail about this idea and what it means for XRP and its investors will be shown next in this part of our video. The price range of $50,000 to $60,000 for XRP is interesting, especially since it fits with reports from a number of reliable news sites. A top business news site called Forbes, which is known for putting out accurate stories, once wrote an article saying that XRP could be the new Bitcoin and could hit $59,472. Even though this story was taken down soon after it was posted, it caused a lot of people to wonder why it was posted, especially since Microsoft's Bing, Google's Bard and ChatGPT all agreed with it. The fact that the number is exact $59,472 instead of a round number like $60,000 makes it even more interesting and it fits with what many top experts have said. According to these experts, XRP could hit or even go above $60,000, possibly becoming more valuable than Bitcoin. There's more to the story though. Based on the data, the SP is expected to handle more than $1.2 quadrillion in the futures market. This means that the price of XRP would need to be around $10,000. Ripple's new membership in the International Swaps and Derivatives Association is a smart move to help the derivatives market handle these huge amounts of business. They will be working with big banks like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs and BlackRock and other companies. But it's possible that even these numbers are too low. Statistics show that more than 19 central banks have bought XRP, which is more proof that its value could go through the roof. Central banks around the world have bought an amazing EUR 9.4 billion worth of XRP. But this is only the beginning. Right now, about 30 countries want to build their own digital currencies for their central banks right on top of the XRP system. Out of the 45 countries that were looked at, mm, Already, 19 central banks have put money into XRP, which shows that the XRP system could be used all over the world in the future. Imagine how many trades would happen. Each country could handle over $1.2 quadrillion a month through the XRP ledger. Think about that for 20, 30 or even 45 countries. The numbers are bigger than what we've seen or talked about before and they are all being processed through the XRP system. This situation may seem impossible, but it's based on real events. The Federal Reserve is already in talks with Ripple Labs about how to help with XRP and buy it back. Mostly to get ahead of South Africa, Russia, Brazil and the BRICS countries Brazil, Russia, India and China. The US doesn't want to lose to these other countries so they are working with Ripple to get the Replanet system which is known for being cost effective, decentralized and private. It's important to note that most of the BRICS countries are already official partners with Ripple Labs. This shows how quickly they want to use the Replanet system and the XRP currency. The Federal Reserve's similar moves show that XRP is a better technology and that people want it. The value of XRP needs to go up because more people want it and it's becoming more important in the world financial system. The first steps of these buybacks are already being seen. Going forward, I expect to see more buybacks and not just by Ripple. I expect to see a lot of other financial companies doing the same thing, which is to get more XRP. Please keep in mind that I'm not a qualified financial manager. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to click the box that says subscribe. Make sure you turn on alerts so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful.